Hi, my name is Dr. Banas, and I'm a medical doctor at the Chetwin Medical Clinic and the Chetwin General Hospital. Um, I used to be a personal trainer myself. Uh, I would like you to uh, consult your physician prior to starting any exercise program, and especially if you have um, any pre-existing conditions or injuries. Although uh, the presented exercises are safe and straightforward, I will encourage you to seek um, professional advice prior to commencing the program. The programs are designed to be done in your home on a daily basis and we would like to encourage all seniors to participate. Hand down to the hip and let's twist to the left. Pressing into those feet. 20 of these. Again, this is a great um, workout for your chest, for your shoulders. Okay, other side. One more on each side. Seven. Good. Six. Two. Okay, I am almost in the line of fire here just in case the elastic slipped off Mary's hand. <laughs> I'll do them with you. Okay. Yeah, another set. So, roll the boat. My name is Kathy Swanson. I'm here with my friends Bobby and Bob Nicholson. We're here to do a series of yoga poses. We're going to do some strengthening and some stretching of our body and some breathing. So um, looking forward to having a great time together. We're going to enjoy the music and uh, get into our bodies a little bit. So just a few tips before we start um, as far as safety goes. In any of the poses, if you um, are feeling any pain, we don't want you to feel that. So uh, in yoga, we have something that is called a sweet spot. So we want to feel a little bit of stretching um, or strengthening. Um, and we don't want to uh, feel nothing. So in that sweet spot, we're finding that place um, where we're feeling something, but we're not feeling too much. So if it hurts at all, come out of the pose a little bit. Also, I'll be cueing some breathing as we go along. If the breathing makes you feel anxious at all, just um, go back to your natural breath so that um, you're feeling comfortable. We don't want you to be feeling more stressed out as you do this yoga, yeah. all right? So um, we're gonna get started uh, in our yoga poses by sitting in our chairs. So let's come around and come into our chairs, bringing our seats right back in our chairs and putting our feet on the floor, making sure our feet are just in line with our knees. Let's we'll take our hands onto our our thighs and I want you to just kind of rock and make sure you're feeling your seats and sitting up nice and tall so you're activating your body your shoulders can go up back and down just draw on your chin a little bit and reach the crown of your head up a little bit take a big breath in through your nose and open up your mouth and just blow it out and let's just do that one more time And now just to wake up our bodies, we're just going to sway our arms around a little bit, just kind of getting into our bodies and waking up our muscles a little bit, maybe taking your hands up a little bit, looking up to the sky. And let's just take them down a little bit, maybe leaning forward a little bit, reaching down, reaching out to the side as if we're grabbing something, reaching the other way. And let's just sway that back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, all the way up, one side and the other, looking up to the sky and bringing your hands back onto your thighs. Let's sit up nice and tall, those shoulders are down, our back, our elbows are anchoring our shoulders down. And let's just look over to one side, keeping your shoulders square to me. Breathing here and come back to center and looking the other way. Coming back to center, 
Let's drop our ear over to one side and relax that opposite shoulder so that it's not jumping up. Just bringing it down. Let's bring our head up to center, take it the other way. And up to center. From here, let's lift up our arms and grab our shoulders. Inhale nice and tall. And let's exhale, twist one way. Looking in the same direction. Sitting up nice and tall. Inhale back to center. Exhale, twisting the other way. We're activating that spine and opening up and feeling that stretch. Back to center. This time, let's twist the other way. And now as a little extra challenge, let's take our face the other way. Bobby's got it. The, so the elbows are turning one way and the head is looking the other way. And let's take our elbows the other way. And let's look the other way. Opposite. Stretching out our necks a little bit. And coming back to center and just taking our hands down to our thighs. Now we're just going to go into a, a little bit of a meditation. Because we just want to um, really activate that breathing, which is really, really important in yoga. Because if we can relax our breath, it helps to control stress and anxiety in our body and just uh, slows down our breathing a little bit. So taking your eyes to the floor or you can just close your eyes, sitting up nice and tall. Take a big breath into your chest. Relax your shoulders down. Open your mouth a little bit and blow it all out. And another big inhale in. And blow it out. And one more time. Blow it out. And now as you're sitting up tall, just turn to your natural breath. Making sure your shoulders are relaxed, your tongue is relaxed, falling away from the roof of your mouth. Letting go of any tension that you're feeling in your body. And now just while you're here breathing naturally, I want you to notice or feel your feet touching the floor. Maybe you feel a little bit of buzzing in your feet. I want you to feel your seat touching the chair. And I want you to feel your hands touching your thighs. Still making sure you're breathing. I want you to listen to the sounds around you. Noticing the distant sounds. Not labeling the sounds, but just listening. Notice any near sounds. Now taking your senses to your smell, just breathing in through your nose, noticing any smells of the house. And now we're going to set our intention for our day. Setting an intention is like having positive thoughts. It's not so much about a goal, but it's it's ways that we think about in our process of getting to our goals. It's just feeling good. So our intention for today that we're going to set is, I am open. I am open to being happy. I am open to the opportunities of today. I am open to whatever might happen. And just breathing that intention in and out for just 30 more seconds and then we'll be moving on. and fluttering your eyes open, maybe giving a smile. Great to be here. Let's take our hands up, big inhale up. Exhale down. Okay guys, let's get started with our seated stretches. Um, let's just take our hands sitting up tall. Let's take our hands, inhale up. Let's exhale, bring them down to our thighs. And let's inhale, take them up again and down to our thighs and this time we're going to take them inhale up 
and we're going to bend our arms and just bring them down to level. Turning your hands towards me, stretching your fingers nice and wide. Let's inhale tall and let's exhale, take a little twist. Pressing into your seat, take a little twist, looking to one side. Yeah. Inhale to center and twist the other way, twisting through your spine. And inhale back to center, taking your hands down. And let's inhale nice and tall. And let's exhale, bring our chest forward. Nice flat back coming forward. Awesome. Very good. And now just rolling down and just hanging here. Are you okay? Maybe you right stay there. sitting up. I'm good. You okay? Okay. And from here, let's take our head down and wiggle our head out. Take three breaths here. And if you feel dizzy at all when you're down here, make sure you come up. And let's inhale, bring our bodies back up, hands to our thighs, sit up nice and tall. Let's inhale up again. Let's exhale, bring our arms, cactus arms, bending there. Inhale nice and tall. Let's exhale, twist to the right, turning our spines. Bob, can you bring your elbows up a little bit higher, out to the sides, open up. Take your elbows back in line with your shoulders. There it is. Inhale back to center, exhale, twist the other way. <clears throat> inhale back to center hands to the thighs let's come forward flat back we're building the muscles in our back leaning forward drawing our chest forward and let's roll down take our hands to the floor let our head drop looking between our knees inhale up take our hands to our thighs halfway up and all the way up let's take a big inhale up last time Hands to the cactus arm, shoulders are in line with our, I mean, elbows are in line with our shoulders. Beautiful, good job, Bobby. Let's exhale, twist to the right. Keep those elbows out to the sides. Back to center, twist the other way. Coming back to center. This time, take our hands to our thighs, let's roll down. And now let's take our left hand and put it on our left foot or on our thigh, on our shin, sorry. And let's inhale, reach up with our right arm and twist to the right. Looking to the side. Good job. And back to center. Take your right hand to your right leg. Reach up with the left and twist. Little twist there. Coming back to center and let's just roll up. Rolling up the spine. Big inhale up. Nice and strong in your seat. Sitting up tall. Reaching up. Big, big, big. Exhale down. And moving on into another exercise, leaving your hands on your thighs. Let's lift up our right leg. Reach our heel forward, really activating the muscles in our thighs and down. And let's go the left. Reach that toe up to the sky and down. This time, let's add our right hand and our right leg forward up. And down. Sitting up nice and tall. Up. Good job and down okay let's shake it out a little bit okay we're going to move on into our standing exercises now so we're going to come up out of our chair and move our chairs forward so that we all have room behind us Bring that in. and your feet will go straight back great okay so so we want to lift our toes and make sure our feet are directly under our hips. Feet are both pointing straight forward. Bobby, can you turn your feet, toes in just a bit? There it is, yeah, okay. So the idea is to make sure our weight is in our feet. So our chairs are here to hang onto just for balance. So we don't wanna be leaning on our chair, it's just for balance, okay? But if you lose your balance, the chair is there, all right? So while we're hanging onto the chair for balance, let's just lean forward a little bit, bring our weight into the pads of our our feet and let's just lean back a little bit taking the weight out of the pads of our feet and come forward again We're still holding all our weight in our feet and back again and now let's just go to one side and what this is doing is it's waking up the muscles of our central nervous system so when we do lose our balance and let's go side to side a little bit more we sort of have woke up those muscles a little bit Okay, let's come to center and let's contract our thighs so our knees lift up. 
Nice soft little break in the knee. And now let's lift our toes up nice and high. And down. And now for balance using the chair, let's come up on our toes. Up, up, up. Can you stand up a little bit straighter, Bob? Up. There you go. Lift up a little bit. And down. All right. Let's get nice and grounded here in our feet. Pressing into our feet, reaching our tailbone to the earth, drawing our belly button back. Shoulders are back and down. Just get you just to stand up a little bit taller. Now, there it is. Yeah, there you go. Let's move this chair just a little bit forward. Okay, as I want you to stand up nice and straight. Awesome. Really, really good. Okay. So, from here, standing tall, let's reach one arm forward. And down. And the other hand forward. And down. And now making sure you're nice and strong in your feet, making sure your eyes are at a still point on the floor of the chair in front of you. Let's inhale and reach our arms up, nice and strong in our legs. All the way up. Beautiful. All the way down. Whoop. Taking our hands to the chair. Let's step back with our right foot, making sure that we're, like we're on two balance beams beside each other, and the back foot is just turning out slightly. Okay. Hang on to your chair a little bit. Bring that foot a little bit further back, up to about here. Yep. Okay. Turn this toe forward a bit. Turn it in. There it is. Yep. And bend your front knee. So now we're going to bend our front knee. Yep. Bend this knee. Bring that foot a little bit more forward, Bob. And turn your toe this way. Bend your front knee. There it is. Yeah. Okay. So as we do this, we want to always make sure that our knee is in line with our ankle and our knee is pointed to our second toe. So now let's sit up nice and tall. Bring your shoulders up, Bob. Bend your front knee. Okay. Hips are turned forward towards the chair. There it is. Yep. Bend your front knee. All right. Awesome. Do you guys feel a little stretch in the back of your calf? Okay, good. If that gets too tight, you can bring up your back heel a little bit too. That gets too tight. Okay, so our weight is grounded in our feet. Let's inhale, reach up with our right hand. And down. And the other hand. And down. Let's do the right again. Breathing here three times. Reaching those fingers up the sky, shoulders are down the back. Good job. Exhale down. Let's take that on the other side. Inhale up the other hand. Three breaths here. Take those shoulders down your back. And down. This time, let's inhale up with our right hand. Take it all the way around and onto our hip. Let's inhale up nice and tall. And let's exhale and turn to the right. Getting a little twist in there. Bending your front knee, Bob. Front knee is bent. There you go. And if you get tired, you can straighten your front leg too. So you're building some strength here in your thighs. You're building some balance. This is a bit of a balance pose and you're getting a nice stretch through your spine. Let's exhale back to center. Take both our hands to our chair. Let's inhale, reach up with the other hand. Hand down to the hip. And let's twist to the left. Pressing into those feet. Now our legs are getting lots of work here. Bending your front knee, Bob. There it is. Back to center. Hands forward. Let's step forward. Feet are under our hips. Let's take a big inhale up. Nice and strong in our feet. Exhale, take it down. Beautiful. Good job, guys. And let's take that on the other side. This time, stepping back left. Having a look at our feet. Front foot is pointed forward. Front knee is in line with ankle, pointed to our second toe and back foot is just turned out slightly. Okay, let's bring this foot forward a little bit, Bob. Yep, yep. This one back just a little bit. There it is, yep. And then bend your front knee, awesome, good job. Back toe can turn out just a little bit, Bob. Yep, and drop your heel down, beautiful. Now let's sit up nice and tall. And I got the wrong foot back. <laughs> All right, so taking those same moves as we did on the other side, on this side. Let's inhale, reach up right. Exhale, take it down. Reaching with the crown of your head up, the highest point, inhale, up with your left. 
Beautiful. Exhale down. This time, nice and strong on your feet, looking forward at, at a spot on the floor called a fo focal point, getting really strong on your feet, maybe lifting both your hands up. And take them down. This time, let's inhale, reach up with the right. Now, a little challenge here. If you like, if you're feeling really strong in your feet, making sure you're pressing, maybe take your eyes up to the roof. This will add a little bit of balance. Good work. Exhale, take your right hand down. Let's turn up the left hand. When you're ready, looking up to the sky, making sure you're drawing your belly in. And down. Let's inhale up with our right hand, take it all the way around to our hip. Inhale nice and tall again, belly is drawn in. Let's take a twist to the right. Other way, Bob, that way. Yeah, that way, you're looking that way. I know you're looking at me. <laughs> That's okay. Inhale back to center, both hands to the chair. Inhale up with the left, take it around and up around to your left hip. And let's twist to the left. Making sure your weight is evenly distributed between your feet. Tailbone is reaching to the ground. Inhale back to center. Let's step forward. Adjust those feet under your hips. Big inhale up. Exhale, hands down. And let's shake it out. Good work, guys. Thank and you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> let's pull the chairs back just a bit and let's come back to our chair. Just moving into our final relaxation. Great. All right. Okay, so maybe coming forward enough that you're sitting up nice and tall in your chair. And just moving into our, our final closing. Let's take a big inhale up, take our hands up. Oh, that's, that's okay. in the way again. <laughs> and take our hands down to our thighs. Let's do that two more times. Inhale up, big stretch through the chest. Exhale down. Let's inhale up. Let's bring our hands together and draw those hands down into our heart. All the way through and down to our thighs. And now sitting up nice and tall, maybe closing your eyes or taking your eyes to a focal point on the floor, reaching the crown of your head nice and tall, shoulders are back. From here, take a big breath in your body. Open your mouth and blow it out. Big inhale through your nose. Blow it all out. One last time, big breath in. Blow it all out. And just moving into a natural breath. Feeling that nice, fresh air coming in the front door. Enjoying the sound of the birds. Enjoying the fresh air. Making sure your shoulders are relaxed. Your tongue is dropped away from the roof of your mouth. Any thoughts that may come your way, don't attach to them, just let them float right through. Just finding quiet here for just 30 more seconds and then I'll be closing with a little poem. Enjoying this time and space, committing to your body. and a little reading for our closing. Today as you move through the world, allow that to be sufficient. It is your birthright to take up space and to be present. There is nothing you need to accomplish, no game face you have to put on, and no role you must play. You are enough as you are. Mm. And let's inhale up. Let's Press our hands together. Draw those words into our heart. Taking our thumbs to our heart. Bowing forward. Namaste. Namaste. The light within me honors the light within you.
great to be with you guys today, and I hope you enjoyed the practice. We did. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Was I snoring? <laughs> <laughs> no, you were here with us. No, yeah, agree. that was really, really good. So we've completed our yoga practice today with Bobby and Bob Nicholson. Um, the benefits that you'll enjoy today from your yoga class, class or that I hope you've enjoyed, are um, feeling a little more relaxed, having done some nice breathing and opening up, and uh, hopefully you go through your day just feeling um, just a little bit more relaxed with all the breathing. And know that at any time throughout your day you can uh, Take this time just to stand at, um, stand at your sink or anywhere where you're sitting and just sit up nice and tall and be aware of being really relaxed and sort of take in those nice long slow breaths and if we're feeling any tension from what's going on in our day or we're just our bodies get tight right and kind of closed um, just to do that breath and open up and it makes our body more um, opened up and alert to being opened up and develop those muscles so that we're a little bit more open and we just feel a little bit better in our bodies when we're more open. Um, also through the um, strengthening that we did on our yoga poses and the stretches you've sort of activated the muscles in your body or you have activated the muscles in your body and you've also gave them some lengthening through the stretches that we've done. So um, that's also really really good for us um, especially you know if you ever have a fall or anything, when we're more supple in our bodies, we're less apt to get a strain or a sprain. And also in the yoga poses, when we're standing really strong in them, um, we're activating our, those muscles in our mind. We're, we're stronger and so we're more alert to doing that so that as you're you know, navigating and walking, you're, you're more present in your steps and that makes you more aware so that um, you're, you're less apt to, uh, to fall and uh, just, just the breathing and the, the strengthening will um, make you more um, into your steps and uh, make you uh, more aware so that you hopefully don't have any falls. Right. Yeah. All right. I just want to say um, thanks to our participants, for, uh, Bobby and Bob Nicholson, for taking up this yoga class with me. I really enjoyed my time and I hope that you enjoyed it as well. When the Japs bombed Pearl Harbor, they upset our thinking about a great many things, including Alaska. The great Japanese air and naval base at Paramushiro was only 750 miles from Attu. Attu was only 1,200 miles from the mainland of Alaska. And Japs in Alaska would be a direct threat to the west coast of America and also to the interior. With Canada's consent, the United States War Department decided to build a military highway from Rails End at Dawson Creek, British Columbia, to Fairbanks, Alaska, to link up and supply these airfields and to provide emergency access to Alaska for troops and materiel. Tourism Dawson Creek official film The Signal Corps and Chet TV presents a one hour special on the new tour of the Mile Zero Alaska Highway that is coming to Dawson Creek. Watch a presentation on the new tour, explore the routes, and hear the experts highlight what to look forward to. 
watch a short movie on the highway produced by Signal Corps and learn about some of the books that chronicle the construction of the Alcan Highway available at the Pine Tree Bookstore in Chetwind. Stay tuned to Chet TV Channel 40 on Eastlink, 655 on Bell and 55 on Air.